Yo, what is good with y'all young boys and girls? I'm saying thoughts. This is the same life. And welcome back to another reaction, man. Y'all thought I wasn't going to react to this? Y'all really thought me being a Dragon Ball nerd was not going to react to this? Y'all crazy, bro. I'm going to always find time to react to this, man. I don't care where I'm at, bro. But I ain't going to lie to y'all. I've already watched the trailer. But I want to react to this with you guys. And I want to give my opinions. I want you guys to know my opinions, bro. So without further ado, man, we're going to check this out. We're going to break it down. We're going to talk about it, man. Let's get it. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Nah, I ain't going to lie. This is like a video game. Goku look fire as hell, though. I ain't gonna catch. He look crisp. Goku looks crisp as hell, bro. 2022. All right, now let's talk about this shit, bro. Let's talk about this shit, bro. All right? We we got we gotta see this. Goku. This looks like a video game, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It looks like a video game. I'm not gonna say it looks trash, bro. But if I'm being honest with you, if I had to pick between this one or Broly, I'm gonna pick the Broly animation rather than this because this just seems like I'm playing Xenoverse, like. Look at this. It's fluid. It is fluid. Like the animation is fluid. But it just looks like I'm playing a video game. It don't even look like like that looks like like if I saw this, my first instinct would think you playing you playing uh what's that? What's the new Dragon Ball uh game that came out? Kakarot. Are you playing Kakarot? Or are you playing Xenoverse? What are you playing, bro? Like I if they some nah this this the new Dragon Ball Super I would like this is a new Dragon Ball Super movie? Like this shit don't even look like it. But it is fluid though, I ain't gonna cap. It is fluid. That's crazy. It's coming out 2022. I can't wait. I watched Broly in theaters with my niggas, bro. So you already know me and my niggas. We finna be in that bitch. I might walk in there as Vegeta. My other friend might walk in there as Goku. My other friend might walk in there as Gohan, bro. We finna be in there, bitch. We finna be in there lit as fuck, bro. But we finna check out the care design next, and we, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give y'all my opinion on the story and the movie, man. Let's get it. So this apparently is a new character in the movie, man. When I first saw this character, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Off the bat, I already said this This might be a movie straight, basically, for Gohan, bro. Because this seems like a villain Gohan would face, bro. Like, first of all, the movie's called Super Superhero. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. When I first thought of superhero, I'm thinking of Mr. Satan, man, Dr. Satan, man, whatever the fuck you call his name, bro. All right, it sounds so corny. I like, I like, just stick to Gohan, please, bro. But when I first saw that, the the title, the name, and I saw this character, I'm like, okay, yeah, this might be Gohan. This might be a movie to show Gohan his love, man, his shine, because you know everybody been saying we want Gohan, we want Gohan, but this this ain't what we meant. This ain't what we meant. We didn't mean we went. We wanted Mr. Satan, man. No, bro. No. We wanted the OG Gohan, bro. When he was a badass, when he was a kid, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. That's the Gohan we wanted, man. But um, like I said, when I saw this villain, I'm just like, there's no way Goku is fighting this villain, bro. Goku is there's I can y'all tell me a villain that Goku or Vegeta has fought that looks this corny? I mean, this guy looks bro, come on, bro. This nigga this look like he went to a Halloween store and, and bought this whole this whole fucking disguise. Like, bro, this shit look trash, bro. But I'm not mad about it. If this is like a filler movie, I'm not going to be mad about it because, like I said, they already been doing a lot in the manga. So I'm pretty sure if I had to guess, bro, this movie takes place after the granola art, bro, or a time skip after the granola art, because there's just no way we're going to have Moro in the manga, granola in the manga. And then when we finally get another anime movie, we get a superhero a superhero movie? With a villain like this? Nah, bro. Nah, it, it gotta be either a filler or it gotta be after the granola. Right, that's just my opinion, though. But who else we got? We got, uh, they're gonna show somebody else, too. They got Krillin, which is, he's still a police officer, which is funny. Because it's like, who would have thought out of all these years, Krillin is a police officer now. And then at the bottom, we got Pan, bro. Now, this is very interesting because Pan, she got older, which also means Goten and Trunks have got to be older. But Pan, she low-key looks like how she looked like at the end of Z. 
And if you remember, uh, wasn't wasn't if I correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't Goten and Trunks older at the end of Z? I know they was older. The like the final episode of Z, I know they was older, bro. But either way, I'm excited to see how Goten and Trunks like they purposely didn't reveal it because they know we're gonna go crazy. We all been asking for Goten and Trunks to fucking be older now. But yeah, this is they design, man. Krill ain't still a cop, man. Pan. She look Pan look cute. I ain't gonna cat, bro. She look cute, bro. I'm interested to see what she's gonna do in her powers and stuff like that. And then uh who else we got? Who else they show? They got Piccolo. Piccolo, bro. Piccolo looks still looks the same, right? His shoes do look different, though. I'm not gonna lie. His shoes look different. But overall, Piccolo, he looks the same. So when they show Piccolo too, I'm already like, I already knew, okay, is this is definitely gonna be like a filler art. It's gonna be Gohan and Piccolo. I mean Piccolo always Piccolo is like fucking Gohan's stepdad, bro, to be honest with you. You know if Gohan needs help, Piccolo's gonna be there, bro. Like I, 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 to be honest, my my opinion is I really don't think we're gonna see a lot of Goku and Vegeta in this movie. I really think it's gonna be mostly centered around Gohan and the other main characters, just to give them more shine. I don't have no problem with that. But damn, bro, damn, bro. I thought we was, damn, bro. At least give us the anime first and then give us this filler movie. But I'm, I'm, I'm grateful because I've been wanted to see Dragon Ball animation for the longest, bro. So I got no complaints over here. Is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it, bro. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk to this about you guys, you know, because I, I, I just wanted you guys to see my opinion about this movie and everything all, bro, because, you know, y'all know I love Dragon Ball over here, bro, but 2022, begin the countdown for Dragon Ball Super Superhero, man. We're going to be lit. Y'all comment down below if y'all want me to uh, vlog me and my friends going to watch the movie because it's going to be a very interesting time. This is a wonderful time to be allowed to be a Dragon Ball fan. I'm saying thoughts is the same life. I'm going to catch y'all next week, man. I'm out.